Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Healthy and we're back with another video. Uh, today we're going to show you what I think is the Sanctuary Speed build, uh, the Super Seder. This is just absolutely crushes T16. Uh, let's just take it for a little spin uh, and then we can tell you all about how it works. It is just ridiculously fast. Uh, move speed out the absolute wazoo. Uh, and all you simply do is just run around and pick items up. Uh, lots of lightning, lots of stuff falling from the ground. So if you want to just have a really chill time of stuff, uh, run around, pick up items off the ground. Um, you know, as I say, stuff just completely melts. I mean, look how fast this is. This is, this is like 60 second rifts almost every single time. Uh, now, obviously, nice maps help. Um, tremendous AoE screen clear. Uh, so much damage that we literally can pick every every move speed ability uh, possible. Uh, let's see, can we get this done on one floor? We might not be able to, uh, which is a little bit of a bummer. If we'd had a better map, we could have cleared one in like 60 seconds. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, lots of move speed, lots of ground we can cover, so even if we do get rubbish maps and we go the wrong way uh, it's you know not not too bad fantastic for bounties this will this will crush 90s in like uh, a minute you know 90 seconds so you know plenty of scope to go off and do those four player bounties in sanctuary uh, really easy to play you know for a lot of the time you don't really even have to press buttons if you don't want to um, and yeah rift guardian go bye bye so yeah that's uh, that's the build in action uh, an awful lot of fun. Um, this is how I'm probably going to farm my keys, I think, moving forwards. Uh, it is a little bit faster than the UE Demon Hunter. Uh, I've played mostly Demon Hunter this season. So it's nice to take a little bit of a break and it's nice to do something different. And genuinely, guys, I think this is faster. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong, there's not much in it. Uh, but I do think it is uh, slightly better. Uh, we'll stick that in the inbox to look at because that looked okay. Right. How does this work? This is the Crusader, it is the Fist of Heavens, and we are using the Sanctified Power. Every two seconds we get Fist of Heavens. So when we were inside the Rift, you will notice these like meteor type things coming down. That is an automatic Fist of Heavens. It seems to cover like a good chunk of the screen, uh, which is pretty nutty. Um, and it does an awful lot of damage because we're obviously gonna juice it up with Dark Light. Uh, this is a one hand flail, so it casts twice and does a thousand percent damage and also the cassettes court of righteousness so less mana cost uh, we don't cast it manually very often but when we do we get a little bit of mana off which is nice and again another 175 percent modifier on it um, now i think these two things apply to the automatic ones i don't see why they wouldn't it does an awful lot of damage and as i say they obviously uh, apply to the manual ones and because we've got the fisher rune as you saw there's just tons of lightning everywhere uh, frying stuff um, which is pretty good. Now, the only other damage modifier I think really is the Norval set. So, you know, staple whenever we pony, after we pony, uh, we get this 400% bonus. A kill will knock a second off this. Uh, so it's pretty much perma up time if there's stuff to be killed because with the AOE of the screen wiping, uh, it's it's kind of like playing with permanent in -gym. This is just always up, always there. Uh, you know, you've, you've literally got to go the wrong way, run out of stuff like we saw in the clear. You know, if if I if we'd gone straight to the exit to the next floor instead of trying to get it done in one go, um, you know, we wouldn't have run out of steed charge at any point. Um, they handle the damage. We do have a squirts, uh, not up all the time. You can get shield pylons; it will be up, um, but it's just it's just damage, so we take it. Uh, and then the size for basically the further away we are, the more damage we do. Again, I think that kind of helps with the automatic casting of the uh, fist of heavens. Any other damage gem I'm sure would work just fine. A trap would probably be fine. A powerful would be fine. Uh, I honestly think a hellfire amulet with a passive would probably be fine. Um, we do have 1700 guns, but I think on this spec we don't have a single augment. This is a brand new crusade, only made it like a few hours ago. Uh, so no augments, non-ancient pieces pretty much everywhere, uh, except for the sanctified item, of course, which is pretty easy to guess. Uh, and yeah, that covers damage. With that said, we can now completely stuff this full of move speed. Um, so we've got quite a few bits and bobs here. 
So you've got the arm guards whenever something breaks, which again, you know, happens so much of the time because of the automatic fist of the heavens, stuff is always breaking. You pretty much have this move speed bonus up all of the time, which is amazing. Uh, and then we're going to go for an unusual combination, Larceny Ring and the Pandemonium Loop. Both have got chance to fear on hit. When you do get a fear activated with the Larceny Ring, you get 60% move speed. The Pandemonium Loop, um, basically what will happen is enemies who have feared um, die and explode uh, and cause other enemies to flee and fear. So it kind of is a way of chaining your fears together. So again, an awful lot of move speed out of those two. If you're struggling for damage, if let's say you've only got 800 paragons and you feel like you need a little bit more oomph, um, these two rings could be swapped out for anything that does damage. So by that you could do a convention of elements, which would be spiky uh, for the lightning damage. You could take a stone of Jordan for a bit more damage. Um, Zodiac is fine to help you with Akrat's uptime, uh, you know, increasing your damage as well whilst that is active. But I think just the move speed from these two uh, is pretty good. Both these legendary gems inside the rings again also offer move speed. So Boon of the Hoarder, uh, we get move speed when we pick it up, 30% for two seconds. And we also get Wreath of Lightning going off every so often. Um, if you insta-melt stuff from far away, it doesn't go off. But um, there's enough enemies, I think, to get decent enough uptime to get a bit more move speed. Again, if you're struggling for damage, you can replace this gem with something else. You could replace it with a uh, gizzard gem to make a shield to keep your squirts up. You could swap it for powerful, for trapped, any of those other gems um, that we have talked about. Uh, we have also for move speed got Iron Skin Flash. If we do manage to get a clip, if something does uh, hit us ever so briefly, we do get move speed from this. We've got the Laws of Hope Wings of Angels, where when we pop this, we get 50% move speed, so that's pretty good. The Pony is quite fast anyway. We go for the Endurance Rune to make it last longer. Uh, and we do have Justice, so we can get uh, move speed off this. Have I got the right rune on that? Uh, no, I don't think so. We should have... Which one is it? Uh, I thought one of these gave move speed. There we go. Sword of Justice. Just in case we get it off. Um, we don't really... Um, very often um, but that should be the rune on that for a little bit more move speed now with the fear you can try and go provoke and then this one here charged up uh, is it that one hit me no too scared to run no flea fool there we go I can't read today flea fool would give us a fear I can't be bothered um, just pressing it so I've just left it on the justice but if you wanted to squeeze that in Trying to get a bit more uptime on Larceny or on the Pandemonium Loop all means absolutely uh, no problem as you can do. And then a couple of weird, well not weird, the Gold Wrap is just standard isn't it? Infinite Toughness, we can stand on explosions. And then the Hexing Pants, because we're running around, um, we just get an extra 25% damage whilst we're moving. I think we may as well take it. Uh, we do get Resource Regen just in case we end up uh, ever at the points where we didn't have Wrath. I've never, I haven't noticed the wrath go down at all, um, so maybe that's overkill. But the extra damage is kind of nice. Other way round, doing this is you could do guardians, but I think you may as well go for the immortality, and you may as well go for the move speed. I can't really think of anything else other uh, to go into the pants. I mean, you could do black thorns for a bit more damage if you wanted. If you got yourself a lightning pair of trousers, that could be okay. Uh, other than that, I'm really struggling to think of what else could go in here. I mean, theoretically, you could do illusory boots if you wanted to move through stuff. Um, but I think you can get you with the laws of hope up. You can move through stuff, move through things anyway. So I don't see that as being particularly great. Um, and yeah, I can't really think of too much else. Uh, and it seems fairly fast. We've stuffed in the damage gems, so strength gems for extra damage. And then I've just stuck a gold gem in here because we really don't need Akrat's champion being up. So I haven't really pushed cooldown at all. Uh, and I just think getting gold find up uh, is handy. Because whilst I've got 4 billion here, if I went and blasted a load of 125s on my monk. If I went and grouped for some 135s, 140s or whatever, this stuff does go down. Um, but if you don't care about gold, I probably would take the cooldown gem. It's probably the best one. Uh, and that is, that is T16 and it, and it crushes. Uh, I think we've talked about all the skills as we've done it. Heavenly Strength, of course, we need because we do have the two-handed weapon. 
Lord Commander knocks 25% off the Steed Charge, so again, just helps out even more. Finery, we get Strength for Socket Gems, which is nice. And then Long Arm of the Lord just makes us move faster with Wings of Angels. Um, if we were going to do a health fire, I honestly can't really think of too much that would be particularly useful. Maybe indestructible for a cheat death, but bear in mind, you get a cheat death with your Akrat's Champion. Your follower will have a cheat death as well. It seems pretty overkill. You don't really need any more damage. Uh, and I don't think any of these do move speed, so um, really, that's why I think probably long term you would stick with the squirts. Now, in terms of GR or Bounty, I think, again, you can use this one uh, as it is. Uh, you can do um, Esoteric if you don't want the move speed from the Gold Find. You can do Trap for a bit more damage, uh, and this will work with Bounties. You're going to swap over to Crimsons. You're not going to take the Gold Wrap for the Infinite Toughness, uh, and that is going to be how that goes. Um, I'm going to do a clear at the end. Somebody's just arrived at the door, so I'm going to call this video now. Uh, I'll put a clear at the end of the video, uh, and I hope you like it. It's so much fun, a lot of fun to play. Great for bounties. GR90, actually, uh, you know, it'll be done in a minute. That's how fast it is. Um, or maybe, maybe 90 seconds or two minutes. Let's see. Right, sorry about that, guys. Workman at the door. Uh, so this is 90. This is well over and above what you would need to do in a uh, public bounty, which would be an 81. And uh, as you can see, this stuff blows apart like paper still. Uh, not quite completely one blasting everything, but very, very close. So if you reduce this to 81, uh, it would be exactly the same. You would just completely annihilate everything. Uh, and this is how I plan to get my Crusader gear. Uh, basically by just blasting 90 over and over again. Uh, getting the most number of items, because of course that is where the cap is for the items in the game. Uh, but yeah. We can, we can really frazzle this. Now, I know there is a build going around with the Guardian set, the GR Speeds, and I think the Aquila Karas, just to give you a bit more toughness. I will look at that. I've got a feeling that's going to be like 105, 110, very, very, very fast. Uh, but I'm going to get some nicer pieces and get that orged up, I think, before we look into that, uh, which is where the 90 comes in. But at the end of the day, this is, I guess, more of a T16 kind of focus. Um... But I think, I think this is the fastest 90 build in the game. It's really, really hard to see how something could be faster than this. Uh, like, on average, you mean. So, as in, like, if you look at this, this is this is going to be, like, I don't know, a 90-second clear-ish. Um, and it's not, like, the... Yeah, 90 se under 90 seconds. That's with, with me commentating. And, you know, it's not like it was first string woods with a shit ton of pylons. Um, it literally is that consistent. Uh, which is just fantastic. It just means that you can just grind these rifts out over and over again uh, and just keep going. So this is just so much fun. Really looking forward to getting it fully built out. Um, again, obviously, like when you're wanting to do 110s, I'm guessing 105s, you're probably not going to do Larceny Ring. You're probably not going to do Pandemonium Loop. Uh, oh, I'm glad you're going to drop a lot of move speed and put some more damage in. But, I mean, 90s that fast. Uh, primal Time, hello. Uh, Echoing Nightmares. Keys, hello. Uh, Angelic Crucibles, hello. You know, it's it's pretty good. Uh, probably one of my favourite builds I've played this season, I think. Right, definitely going this time. Nobody at the door. Adios, muchachos.